Can I tell the viewers where we're headed next? Land of the Giants? Land yeah. of the Giants. Yeah, we're, going to the Giants. we're going to the ocean. I'm kind of scared about the land of the Giants out there. It's big, big waters. We're trying for the biggest five smallmouth bass ever captured on film. I've never seen a seven pound smallmouth. I would love to see one and there's not a better place. It's just kind of like the boogers coming out of my nose. You just, it's unpredictable what he's gonna do. That's the lumber we need for the magic number. Yeah! <laughs> Look at how fat that is! That's yeah. the one. Welcome back, guys. We're in the airport. It has been a while since I've flown, and it feels kind of good, you know? When I'm doing a lot, I get kind of sick of it, but now I'm recharged, ready to go. We're flying to Toronto, quick flight from Winnipeg, and uh, we got something exciting. This is the last open water video, last open water trip of the year. And I'm going to leave it at that. We wish you a pleasant stay in the Toronto area or wherever your final destination may be. Good night. Thank you. So when I planned this trip, I thought, who would be the most ridiculous people to put into a boat together? I filmed with a bunch of different people. And I think these two are going to be a, a good collab. But I won't ruin the surprise. I'm going to give you a couple of hints. Uh, he loves Swish LA and he's Asian. So hopefully that gives you a little bit to go on. Is this the right vehicle? This is <laughs> I forgot how tall you are. See you. Tiny on camera. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from 39 Hours, from Uncut Angling, from Fish City Tours, to Fish Murata. City Tours. Is yeah, that what it's called still? I think so. It hasn't I changed? I took it on my website. What? Yeah. Because you're too booked. I guess so, because of 39 hours. <laughs> now I just eat Swiss chalet. <laughs> Tarot's in demand, okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the third member of this trip, Alex Kirk. Oh, what's up? What's nice up? Nice to meet you. Yeah, how did right? He's so little in real life. He is small, yeah. <laughs> hey. I got you a present. What is that? <laughs> first stop. First stop? Yeah. What noodles. is it? Noodles. Noodles? Noodles? noodles and Do you like noodles? I like noodles and I like some company. And some company. Uh, Sounds good. And massage. <laughs> no massage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going for noodles. Everybody in town. What's up? What's up? I got my friend from Chicago. These are oh, yeah, how's it going? That's, that's it's small town that's farm boy, which I show in the big city. Everything. Do you like noodles, honestly? I love noodles. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna you want like, do you want noodle and soup, or do you want like fried noodle? Can you, I'll get you some white boys. Ooh, that looks good. These farmers here <laughs> open up their lot different than them chickens and eggs. Hey, eh, Ernest, <laughs> can't believe you liked it. <laughs> What, I think today, what day Jay, is it? Today is smallmouth day, and I think today is the day that we can run all over the lake, so we should run all over the lake because we can. Good weather? Yeah, good weather. Low winds? Tomorrow, we can't. It is day one of our smallmouth adventure. Didn't get much sleep, but we got some delicious noodles last night. Aaron Weeb is and with us. Aaron Weeb is with we us. We wish Aaron Weeb was with us. AW, right there. Oh, actually, no, he is. AW. I think we said this yesterday, but the record, the biggest bag of smallmouth we've seen on film is 29. And a half, 29.7 pounds, oh, bet, bet. that is the goal. It's We're not afraid thing. to use bait. Not. Whatever it takes. Whatever. It's the middle of November, these fish are sluggish. They're, uh, sluggish. they're gonna chow some minnows, they're gonna chow some tubes, they're gonna chow some swim baits, they're gonna chow some Guggen. Do you bring any Guggen baits? No. <laughs> Bud doesn't bring any Guggen baits. I like baits. just filming you film yourself. Is that too much? You ready? You ready? I'm so nervous, I'm so sweaty. My heart's moving, it could be the coffee. Could be who I'm with, I don't know. I could have to go toilet, but I'm excited. Those things tell me that I'm excited. Like when I was a kid, I used to see Transformers in the shopping center, and when the new ones came out, it made me fart. I was so excited. And the other kids had to leave the alley and I would get the ones that I wanted. They're like, ew, mom, it stinks. I gotta get out of here. True story. You don't fart when you see things you like? No. Make 
our own moves. We make our own moves. Be a leader, don't be a follower, all right? And I thought I'd never be in the boat with someone more ridiculous than Alex. <laughs> but here we are. Ridiculous. We got here together. I speak the truth. Like I said, I speak the truth to the young black youth. I'm like the Kanye West. Hey, if, if I you know what I mean? I'm a soulful hey. guy. 6'4 for Alex will be a PB. Uh, mine's 6.83, which is going to be pretty tough to beat, but this is the place to do it. So I'd love, I've never seen a seven pound smallmouth. I would love to see one. And there's not a better place than Lake Simcoe to do it. So oh God. here we go. Something, maybe, something, maybe, yep. For some reason you can mark them in here. I think there's just so many. There's some areas where you can't mark that many. You won't mark them at all, but they're there. Minnow, minnow. Give us, give us a little quick, quick breakdown on the rig. The mighty three-way rig. Three-way. Should be illegal, so good. You can use soft plastic on it, you can use live bait on it, you can use minnow, sometimes I use a jerk bait here, or a crank bait. A jerk bait on the three-way. Yeah, I might, I might go heavier. Depends, you gotta play around. Three ways, so so many things going on. It looks so simple now. Add a little more one way. Got a different bait. Leader link, three way. Oh man, it's a deep subject. Keeps you right in the zone. It's a deep subject though. It's no ending <laughs> in the mighty three way. Just a little grease. That's that's good. It's a baby grease. I'm gonna let these guys catch first one and then I'm gonna pick up a rod. But for now, I wanna see a big old bass in the bottom of this boat working towards 30 pounds. That means we need a six pound average. This is it, right here. Just dragging minners. Dragon minners. All you got Dragon do. meat? We got, yeah, we got the freshest meat in the game. Brought to you by Middle Man himself. Middle Master. Middle Master, MM, Middle Master. The real m, &M. There's gonna be some haters on the live bait, that and fun. that's okay, because at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do to get the bites. And just lost them. sometimes it means giant live bait. And Not you know, bit. and Terrell's on. Lost him again. Terrell, what's going on, oh, buddy? Oh my God. What is going on? Well, there's one. Fish on. Get off your butt. Fish on. Alex is hooked up, number one. I almost had another. Number one. It's a dink. <laughs> oh, and it's oh, a dink. Oh, baby. Yes. On the board. On the board. board. Chunky. We got? Look at that, look, watch this. What did I tell you? So that, that's the that's small fish. That's a good fish. fish. Well, that's a small fish here. That's Where's a good fish anywhere else. Three and a yeah. half? Anywhere. Yeah, you won't put him on the scale, we could. Nah. Nah. Oh, bye bye. But well, he's the first fish. Jeez. Good, we got bit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up a rod now because Thank you for filming that. Hey, no problem. That was the uh, first smallmouth of the trip, you know? I thought it was big, I don't know what to expect. We're dragging minnows. You just never know out here. It's a big lake and big fish. We've been fishing for 12 minutes and 37 seconds. And we've caught well we've hooked up we caught one, we're hooked up on the second one, and we this lost spot the third. here is like a lot of mixed sizes, this particular spot. But there's giants here too. But I just want to get a nice rhythm. Like we got other areas. Yeah, I want to get the feel here. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the feel of this. That's uh, a good bass. Don't know yet. It's so clear. It's hard to tell. I think it's okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. It's okay. How big is it? Four. Four pounder. Yep. Four pounder. Where's the? The hook's Popped perfect. Out? Look how Look fat perfect. that thing yeah. is. It's fat, eh? Well, yeah. you'll be surprised how heavy that weighs. Like they're crazy heavy. Oh gosh. Hold them up for me, bud. These fish are just so fat this time of year. Look at the girth on that thing. Just a gorgeous specimen. Clear Perky. water. Ooh, yeah. Clear water, smallmouth. Just hammered it. Hammered that Hammer, minnow. Hammer. We're starting with some. Uh, this is crazy. We're starting with some good starter fish. Is that right? Yeah, good starter fish. If this is small, I can't wait to see what big is. <laughs> what do you think? I got snot coming on my nose. Can you do I want to look chiseled. I don't want to look like a snot. Or no? I want to look chiseled. I don't want to snot. I want to look like a superstar. You do look like a superstar. This is my here. moment to shine. Is it a dink? It doesn't feel heavy, but I like that kind of. It's not pumping and fighting. What is it? Or is he hooked 20? Oh, that's a good one. Oh! It was a giant. It was a giant. I just screwed it up. That was big. That eh? was real big. That's gonna hurt us. That was, a, that was a six pounder. Oh my God, did you see that? 
Was no. it big? I didn't see it. It was giant. It was yeah, giant, it was big. Right? It was bad. It was so uh, bad. What did you do? Oh my God! It was my. Uh, I had no pulled. snot. I looked chiseled. I had the biggest fish on. And oh, I lost. that was my chance. That hurt my heart a little bit. It did, eh? <laughs> that was big, eh? Ooh! We need five of those. Five of those, and we would be laughing. I screwed up a little bit. Go first, good one. So that's like what's what's point one in the ounces and stuff. It's a five pounder it's all five day pounder. long. This might be my first five pounder of the year. Absolutely gorgeous. That's that's three smallmouth of the day in under 30 minutes. This day could just be absolutely stupid. Look at that tank. Just so lethargic, so cold. Five water. pounder, baby. We got you back. We got Woo! you back. Hey, it's getting nervous again. It's getting nervous. Gonna get crushed. I think it just got hit. Yeah, big, real big. <laughs> Ooh, this is heavy. This is heavy. It's definitely good. That's a good one. Oh, not that big. Come oh, on, that's not that big. That's not that big. That's a football. That right there. We're going up the ladder. Is what my buddy Taro calls a chunky. <laughs> Look at genuine. that. Not Look at that. Chunky. Genuine chunky. That is big. We got. Man, not, even, not a even five. five. No way. We're spoiled. We're spoiled. This is my biggest small of the year. So I'm 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 very happy with this. First of the day. Gone. We need all five plus pounders, so. I'm feeling fishing line on my head right now, and Taro is just completely oblivious to it. <laughs> Trying to get another. Okay, we're good. Taro, how big was that one? Five, six, two. Five, six, two. Not bad. Do they get bigger than that? A little bit. Oh yeah. Yep. There so, she goes. We gotta release them quick just like that. So they can go back. Are you happy, happy with that? I'm happy. But I still wanna get six, seven. We need, I don't know. We're still got a lot of work to do, bro. So I'm not that happy because I feel like today's the day, but I'm sort of happy. That was a monster. Your shades match your uh, outfit nicely. Blue is blue. Blue, blue, blue. Belle en bleu. Let's go. Respect star. Let's go. This is probably the biggest fish of the day because, oh yes. Oh cow. Oh. Yeah. Monster. Oh, monster. Monster. come on, come on, come on, oh, got it, yeah, Woo! yeah, yeah, go pros dad, oh, that is oh. a giant, whoa, a giant. Oh. <laughs> round, that's a boat chunky, go horizontal, would you say that's a, whoa, that is chunky. ridiculous, gut, gut, put that on the scale, nice one Al, We're still catching giants out here. Woo! Yes. We're getting close to that PB mark. We got two five and a halves. We're not close to that 30 pound mark right we now. We need six pounders. We need six pounders. I lost it. I just oh. lost it. Yeah, it just popped off. Awesome. Yup. My bud oh. Alex decided to put the rod over my rod on the freaking rod holder. Jay, tell us how you feel. Okay, this is what's happening, guys. I want to show you what just happened. I'm working on camera gear. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm hooked up. Alex takes this rod and puts it. Oh, can you show them what you just did? Show them. Put this rod holder over. He did it. That's what he just did. And that was the biggest. What I hooked up with a fish. You had the biggest minnow in the bucket in there. Okay, take this out, and you get a timeout. Right. I hope none of you have to fish with Alex in this lifetime. Can I tell the viewers where we're headed next? Land of the Giants? Land yeah. of the Giants. Yeah, we're, going land of the giants. we're going to the ocean. Land of the Megas. I'm kind of scared about the Land of the Giants out there. It's big, big waters. I think he was in the body. Yeah, warm up. I think he honestly was in the body. We're headed out to the ocean. This may be the only day that we can actually do it. It's supposed to be windy the next two days. You feeling good? I'm feeling good. We're going to the Land of the Giants. L-O-G. Land of Giants!
think Simcoe is big. How, how big would you say? Big or really big? Really big. You can see it on a map clearly. That's all I know. You can see a lot of things on a map, Carol. <laughs> you see the Great Lakes and you see Simcoe. You're like, oh, it's up there with those big boys. Are you a geographer? It's up there with those big boys. Oh my gosh. Here we go. This is Land of the Giants. Oh my gosh, this feels freaking oh. big. Feels Dude, cool. what's going on? It's on Talk the surface. What's it doing? You're gonna flop? Oh. It doesn't flop right off. But keep it down, bury the rod. What's it doing? It's flopping. Get the Terrell, why are you on vacation right now? I got the net. You have the net? This is so scary! Terrell, it's gonna be right here. Come here! I got it, got it. <laughs> it just feels like dead weight. I like that. I like the sounds of dead weight. What's going on? Oh it's big. It's big. Oh it's big. Oh! Is it? Is it it? Is it it? Holy cow! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah! That's our best one. That's yet. the one. Is that one. It? Get in there, Joe. Oh, Get in there. God. Look at how fast that is! Look at how fast that is! That is insane. Super. Oh, it's so nice. It's it, okay. was, it was so hey. fat that it couldn't even swim. When I see that stomach, you know what I say? Sexual candy. No? Look Sexual at candy. <laughs> Sexual candy. Yes. What do you think? Six, six, four? I think so. I think she's gonna go six. And we decided to come out here and search for one fish, and this could be the fish we're searching for. Six, five, oh. six, six, five, two. Oh, a new God, PG. It's going like a new PG. Yes. 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 A new PG. We came for right That's there. You just whaled it. You whaled it! Yes! Yes! You like Chunky? <laughs> yes! When I see Chunky, I say one thing. Sexual candy. That's what we saw. That's what it's all about. When you see that candy, it gets sexual. <laughs> that fish was incredible. I love catching big fish, but I really, really like documenting big fish and to be along for that. Pretty cool for someone who catches a lot of bass like Alex does, to be a part of his personal best. That puts us at 27, 27 and a half pounds. We need, what do we need? Our goal is 30 pounds. Goal is 30, so, so we need like. We have our smallest fish, I believe, is four and a half. We're not for sure because we didn't document. We only have three of the biggest fish documented, but um, we need, you know, we need another six and a half, and then we need to bump up that five pounder to about a five and a half, and then we got it. Or a seven. Or a 10. Or a 10 pounder. 110. <laughs> this might sound ridiculous, but there could be a 10 pound smallmouth in this lake. There's an 8.3 pounder weighed in a tournament just recently, so maybe there's a 10 pounder. There's probably a 9 pounder. Title this video 10 pound smallmouth bass? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> We're gonna tally up the exact weight today, but I think 20, 20, 20, 27, 27 to 28 pounds. pounds. So the biggest that we found on YouTube was 29 pounds, 7 ounces for the biggest bag of five smallmouth ever captured. I don't think we got it today, unless this last spot lights up. But, uh, or unless you catch an eight pounder. Right we'll now. check in later. 8 a.m. till dark, and I think it's time that we head in, so. Let's get to the ramp, load the boat up, and grab some delicious sushi. Not happy. Not happy, and I'm hungry. Guys, we're calling it on day one at Bass Camp. Um, we did not break the record, but we did break Alex's PB smallmouth. And that was, I, I think, the best day of smallie fishing I've ever had from a, from a size wise. We didn't catch a ton of fish. I only caught one, but 20. It was, just, it was a weird deal. I mean, we caught 
Well, how many fish over five? Four, I think over five, or three for sure over five, which is, that's incredible anywhere in the world, so. Cantero, you're not happy. I'm not happy, man. This is a kind of a uh, below kind of a subpar kind of average average kind of day. Tomorrow maybe? You know? Tomorrow maybe. Yeah. But the fish were weird. They were weird. It feels like we're like what? Third week of November? Kind of? Second, second week. Second yeah. week of November. And it feels like when I fish just before ice up. Yeah. So it's like a real touchy bite and they're really lethargic. And it feels like this fall is way ahead. It's almost like winter fishing. Yeah. So I was like, whoa, like, whoa, like, whoa. So tomorrow, I don't know. You know well, we'll get it done. We're we'll going to go another area of the lake. Different area of the lake, guys. If you're coming and you want to fish Simcoe uh, and anything in the Toronto area, Taro, Fish City Tours, he's the man. And uh, if you like YouTube and fishing videos on YouTube, check out Alex Perry. He's doing crazy stuff all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching another Jay Siemens vlog. Make sure to subscribe and we will catch you guys next time where we'll be catching more giant Simcoe smallmouth tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Sushi! <laughs> oh. ah.